You are tuned in to Kids in the Pit. Hey guys, it's Gabe from Kids in the Pit Podcast. Today I'm enjoy- I am joined by Adam Morgan from the band Hopesful. Let's do it. Hey Adam, I'm Gabe. Mind if I ask you some questions about your musical career? Sure, I'd love that, yeah. So what do you do in the band Hopesful? I play drums, um, and that's about it. They won't let me sing, so I just stick to hitting the drums. Oh, my dad plays drums. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're also the first drummer I've interviewed, so yeah, that's cool. So how long has Hope's Fall been a band? Let me think. We started back in 1998, so... 98 to 2008 to 2018, 24, 24 years, just about, yeah. Uh, so where do you live? Well, my address is, no, oh. I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we, most of the band lives here in Charlotte, North Carolina, home of the Carolina Panthers and Charlotte Football Club. My aunt lives there. Really? Yeah. Small world. You ever come and visit her? Uh, sometimes. Well, right on. Next time you and your mom come down to visit the family, let's uh, grab some dinner or something. Okay. All right. So what do you do for a living besides uh, music? I work for a screen printing company, printing uh, a bunch of merchandise for a lot of bands and a lot of businesses and, and artists and stuff like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. My mom, uh, like makes puts design so she makes shirts by that i mean she doesn't make shirts she buys shirts like blank shirts and she can put designs on them yeah exactly yes. oh yeah. what's that oh, yeah perfect that's that's pretty much what i do but i i do less shirts and more of like um like posters and um like stickers and stuff like that oh my mom does uh more buttons and stickers than shirts but she does shirts sometimes so cool so, for those not familiar with Hopesful, what sh- song or album should they look up? Um, I guess they would probably want to look up our album, The Satellite Years. Um, that one seemed to be uh, the most popular amongst our albums. And the very last song on that record is called The Bending. And um, I think that's a good representation of, of what we sound like. Oh. That's my dad's favorite Hope's Fall at, uh, album, so. Oh, cool. Your dad's got great taste in music. Yeah. So <laughs> what is your favorite place you've toured in and why? Favorite place I've toured has to be um, Brazil because, oh. yeah, yeah, it's very cool. Um, I think it was my favorite because of just how different everything is from living in the States and you know, no one's speaking English. I mean, a couple people do, but for the most part, it's Portuguese. And um, the landscape is beautiful, and the people were just super nice, and it was just a great experience overall. Yeah, South America is awesome. Yes. Have you been anywhere over there? Uh, no, I haven't been to any other countries. But Not yet. Yeah. Uh, the country I want to go to the most is Iceland, because there's a punk rock museum there. Dude, I'm with you. That is on the Iceland is the top of my list to go visit. No, Iceland's awesome. Yep. So, uh, what was your first concert, and how old were you? My first concert was in 1992, I believe, which would have put me at around 11 or 10 years old. Um, and it was. And you got to tell me if you've ever heard of this guy. Okay, probably not. Cause how old are you? Ten. Yeah, ten. Okay, so the guy, he was a rapper. His name was MC Hammer. Have you ever heard of him? Uh, I don't think so. All right. I, I figured you wouldn't, but it was it was MC Hammer, uh, a group called Boys to Men, and another group called TLC. And it was incredible. Well, sounds fun. Uh, my mom has heard all of them, so I would be I would be ashamed if she hadn't. So, what is a b- band you suggest other people uh go see live? 
Okay, so speaking of Iceland a minute ago, my favorite band ever, who I just saw a couple months ago live, um, they came to the States and they played a show uh, and I had to go seven hours to go see them, but they're called Cigarose. So they're an Icelandic band, um, very different from, you know, metal and punk and hardcore, but uh, a very, a band that's very important to me. And I think would also be, um, you know, very important for other people to see just because of uh, the, the music they play and how powerful it is. So that would be my, my recommendation for anybody to go see live. Are the lyrics in English or Icelandic? Icelandic and um, the singer made up his own language called Hopelandic that he sang on for a record or two, I think, that's just pretty much gibberish. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, he doesn't, the band doesn't sing in English, no. That's really cool. I'm going to check them out. What's that? I'm going to check them out. Yes, please do. Let me know what you think. So are they like, uh, like Scandinavian black metal or what? No, they're not metal at all, man. They're, oh. yeah, it's uh, I w I don't really know how to put it. It's, it would, it might be pretty boring to a ten year old if I'm, if I'm being honest. Uh, but it's still worth checking out. You might dig it, you might not, but it's pretty laid back music. Okay, yeah, I'll make sure to check them out. So. All right. Um, now for some non-music related questions. Do you think pineapple goes on pizza? Absolutely. 100% not. I agree. Wait. No, I said not. No, here, here's the rule. No fruit on pizza. Even though technically tomato is a fruit, we all know it's really a vegetable. But no pineapple on pizza. Oh, I kind of like it. It's just like kind of good contrast in my opinion. We're right on. Yeah. So if animals could talk, what animal would you like to talk to and why? I would definitely talk to my 14-year-old wiener dog who I've had since he was a baby because I would love to know what he's thinking and he needs me to tell him how much I love him. And I want to know if he loves me back. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd love to talk to both my dogs. And I, I kind of want to ask them questions and see if they're smart or dumb. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of dog do you have? What, what are they? Uh, so one named, one's named Clark. He's like six years old or so. Uh, and he's a schnauzer. Okay. Um, and we have one named Roxy. She's a Shih Tzu Poodle mix. Um, my mom calls her a shitty boo. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so she, yeah, uh, she's like 12, maybe, like around that. Getting old. Uh, yeah, she's very old. So if you had to lose your hands or feet, which would you choose and why? If I had to lose my hands or my feet? Yes. Oh, um, I'm going to have to go with lose my feet. And because I think you do too, too many things that require finesse with your fingers, you know, like if you had to sew something or work on something real small or put together a a model or something and whereas with your feet you know you don't really you don't really have to be you don't really mess around with your toes that much you know you just need two solid things that you can walk with so i'm gonna have to go with i'll lose my feet but keep my hands and also you can uh drum because drummers usually have like a seat that's right yeah, yeah I, didn't, up. I didn't even think about the whole drumming thing but yeah yeah definitely lose the feet take my feet away so do you think water is wet? Absolutely. How could it not be? Do you I have it? it is. Okay, let's well, hear it. All the people. Uh, so I think it makes stuff wet. It's not wet itself. I can see where you're going. I can see where you're going. 
So, Interesting. Yeah. So if you had a time machine, would you travel to the future or back to the past? I used to always think that I would go to the future to see like all the cool new inventions and stuff like that. Um, but the way the world has been going lately, I think it might be kind of scary to go into the future. So I'd probably just pick a better time in the past to go to and, and go see um, what that was all about. And also you could see what like you can see what dinosaurs actually look like because like dinosaurs we have no idea if they look like that it was just a guess that's right yeah all we got is their skulls but we don't know really much about anything else you know yeah so what was your favorite subject in school i always liked math um history was always kind of a lot of information for me to remember and stuff like that and math had a bunch of a bunch of rules that if this does this then it has to be this so i kind of always that made a little bit more sense to me and i can remember that and i always enjoyed math more than anything else what about you mine 100 percent geography oh okay i know like 120 countries out of like 190 yeah, that smokes me dude i've learned I... north america south america europe and asia dude keep up with that that's awesome uh north america has like a, around 20 something uh south america has 12 uh europe has 47 and asia has 49 dude i couldn't have i couldn't have told you all that for sure i'm trying to learn africa it's kind of hard because it has like 50 something oh yeah that's a lot my gosh yeah the easiest is definitely south america or like oceanic oceanic countries so uh do you have a cool or crazy childhood memory uh you know i i've forgotten a lot of stuff in my past from being a kid i mean like i would i would think the coolest the coolest thing that sticks out in my memory is is another concert it was actually my my second concert which was a year after the one i told you about um so I must have been 11 or 12. And my dad took me to see um, a guy named Phil Collins. Have you ever heard of him? Uh, no, I haven't. Your dad has. Um, and he he was from England and he wrote a bunch of like really cool pop songs. Uh, and he also played the drums. He sang and played the drums. And I went to that concert. And after I left that concert, I knew that I wanted to be a drummer in a band one day. So that was a very big, um, big event for me and a, and a, and a really good memory that I have from, from my childhood. That's really cool. Uh, there's this band called the Ergs and the drummer sings and plays, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, that is cool. I, it's really hard to do. I don't, I think, uh, I think it's probably easier to play guitar and sing, but probably. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I've I've never tried it, but I I I can't imagine it would be very easy. Yeah. Um So, if you could tell your 10-year-old self anything at all, what would you tell him? Let's see. I would probably say to make sure that you're unapologetically yourself and when I say that I mean if there's something that you love and something that brings you joy don't let anybody ever try to talk you out of it or make you feel dumb or stupid for for enjoying that thing and that's gonna happen as you get older and you make friends and and you know, bullies and stuff like that. But at the, in, you know, the same time, equally as important is don't ever stop anybody else from being unapolog unapologetically themselves. So just because you like something and someone likes something else doesn't make it wrong or dumb or stupid or anything like that. You just stay true to what you like 
and you just follow that. Yeah, that's very true. That's really good advice. Well, thank you. So, uh, would you like to add anything before we end the podcast? Um, I guess to anybody that's watching that might be a fan of Hope's Fall, my band, um, just be on the lookout. We're, we're celebrating 20 years of uh, the satellite years this year. And um, we might be doing something kind of cool that relates to vinyl records. So we'll just leave it at that for now. That's really cool. Well, uh, I had some cool secret, top secret news. Uh, so thanks to Adam for joining me today. And thanks to all of you for watching or listening. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Spotify and other streaming platforms. Until next week, bye! Bye!